Hi hey everyone, uh, this video that I'm doing is going to be on the solar uh, pack. I just want to point out a couple different things before you like or dislike the video. This is actually the first so-called review that I did and I don't have a camcorder. I had to do everything off my phone so hopefully the images are good. As I'll be stating in the video, I actually do recommend this mostly if you're on a budget. Um, obviously there's better ones out there and I'm sure you can get other adapters for it. This is more of a test run that I did with it, so I would I highly recommend it because of the whole battery situation with flashlights mostly if you have to bug out and you know have a couple batteries for your flashlights and turns out that you know with natural disaster Economy, whatever scenario that's out there, there's so many of them. You'll still have batteries that'll last, so so you have light at night, which I find is more important than charging your cell phone or you know your walkie-talkies. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, the walkie-talkies, ham radios, they're important too. So I would kind of just kind of look into it and find and see if you if there's what what kind of plugins your ham radios are. Or, and things like that but to me light is more important than all these accessories like your cell phone and things like that and for I think I paid like 115 bucks off of Amazon for it and it's well worth it so I just wanted just to give you just a little um, explanation for this video I usually don't really talk much in my videos as is so it's kind of something different than I'm doing with this one Hey everyone, uh, this is Milwaukee Prepper. I'm going to do a kind of a quick, kind of a review on the solar pack that I've had. I have always kind of meant to take it out, but I haven't been able to go out recently. Um, basically, it's a solar pack that's able to charge batteries and everything, which I'll go over the accessories that it comes with. Um, I think I paid 125 bucks for it. Obviously, you can string this to your Molly off your pack, and it comes with all different accessories. Now I tried it with my phone, I have an iPhone 5, and it doesn't charge the phone, so there's a negative there. And if I'm not mistaken, the reviews also said iPhone 4s, but if you have droids and stuff like, and phones like that, it should be able to charge it. Uh, you might just want to look that up. Right now, I'm just kind of charging up my um, iPod, which as you can see, is charging. Hopefully you can get that. And I just basically have it plugged in. So we're just, I'm just going to let that charge for a little bit. And then I'm just going to grab other things. Now, also with this, it charges batteries. And this is one of the main purposes why I bought it. You can charge double A's and triple A's. Which works good with your flashlights. Depending on what, what kind of battery style you have. So... Um, like I said, I'm just going to let this kind of charge up a little bit, and then I'm going to go and find something else to see if I got anything else to charge, or maybe try to charge up the batteries and test those out. Alright, well, the iPod is charged. Um, it, before I plugged it in, it was about half full, so now it's it's 100%, and it's been probably about a half hour or so. Not bad for charging. Now I'm going to plug in the battery charger here. Okay, I got the battery charger plugged in with four or yeah, four AA batteries. Hopefully that red light's gonna be picking up off the charger. I think it is. Um, so we're just gonna let that charge for a little bit. Basically it just gets plugged in the back. And we'll see how long it takes for this. Now with these I don't know how low the batteries were, but if you have spare batteries you can always just, you know, keep a couple in your pack. So this way you can always just keep rotating. So we'll do this for a little bit and we'll find out how that one goes. Okay, what I did here is that I moved the solar pack a little bit out of the sun. I only got like this corner over here and there. And as you can see, the battery is still uh, blinking, which I looked at the back of it and it's anywhere from zero to 50% uh, on this certain pack. It was only 50% charged and it starts blinking green and she's ready. 
now it's, right now it's been about 20 minutes so like I said I don't know how low the batteries were I didn't do a test with that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in here like this now she's in the shade and see how that works as you can see she's still blanking a little bit right there what I think I'm gonna do just because I don't know if this if it's getting no sense this is gonna automatically always blink I'm gonna plug in my iPod again and see if it's uh, charging in the shade okay what I did, let's see if I can get, it's charging, I put it back in the sun, as you can see, I move it in the shade, she's not charging anymore, I don't know if you can see that, so no it doesn't hold power, so I'm going to plug the batteries back in and see how long that's going to take to charge, like I said I think we have about 15 minutes, so these are rough estimates. And we'll just see how that goes. And as you see in the back here, it says when charging from Nomad 3.5, red blinking 0 to 50%, green blinking 50 to 100%. Six hours expected to charge items in good sun. So and I'm not going to sit out here for six hours anyway. So um, I'm going to probably come back and charge up the batteries again. But I want to try my walkie-talkie, so since we know that, we'll just play it from there. Okay, well, my walkie-talkie is, I won't be able to charge because I don't have the right plug-in for it. I'm sure I can get something that I can fit in there and to plug it in here. That's going to be, have to be a later experiment. But with this, basically you just kind of plug that in. Kind of hard with one hand. Sorry about the camera. Okay, put that in there. Right, just let her charge. So that's pretty much everything that I have that I'll work with this. Like I said, the main reason why I bought this is for batteries. Um, if you have walkie talkies that take regular batteries or ham radios, uh, the ham radios that I have won't work on this, anyways, because it's some Chinese crap. Um, obviously it'll work on your iPod, you know, if you're out in the bush, but for a survival situation, I would purchase this for, I, I have no regrets for it. Like I said, it's mainly for my batteries, for my flashlights, uh, for communication wise, I'm sure there's other walkie talkies out there if that's what you're more concerned with, but for the money. It's, it's pretty well, well worth it. Um, phone wise, I mean, if you, like I said earlier, if you have a droid, you're pretty well good to go. Um, or a real old iPhone. But like I said, I'm not really concerned about my phone either. Um, that's pretty much everything I can think of that could be chargeable here. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave comments, subscribe. I know this isn't one of the greatest experiment videos. I usually don't do this. I usually field test it. Uh, they say it's waterproof, but the last that I've, I've really, to be honest with you, is um, if it's raining outside, the sun's not going to be out. So I'm not really um, concerned about the whole waterproof part of it. And I'm not planning to jump in no rivers with it anyways. It's in my pack bag to protect it but they say it's it's waterproof at least the panels are also um, like I've said earlier you can mount it to your molly and your backpack and you can you know if you're in a survival situation all bushcrafting and the batteries are low um, you can just put it in the back of your pack and keep getting some charge to it yeah to me it, it was worth the money once again, thank you for watching.